What is up guys, this is Bahama Raven speaking and I'm making this post production intro just to tell you that the footage has some problems. The first part of the clip or the first clip that you're going to see has been cut off because I made a recording that was over an hour long and the PS4 recording feature didn't really like that. You didn't miss much, however, it was just the introduction. And the final part, that's roughly around 55 minutes of video, will be cut off because the footage itself glitched out. Don't ask me why. Anyway, just sit back and enjoy the video. Some Thors that I need to get require Lore to be present in the party, so I'm gonna make a temporary swap. Where do you want to go? Alright, so first destination is going to be Gorelli Proving Ground. Leave it to me! Okay then. Now, if you remember, in the store area, this way, there's a certain student that is actually Laura's friend. Hi Monica, I'm back. Laura? And the rest of Class 7 too. I've been looking forward to seeing you again for quite some time now, Monica. I'm so glad to see you're safe and sound. Same to you, I've been so worried all this time. But I'm happy to see you're able to find the rest of your classmates. Yeah, we all... We all finally got back together in Legram not too long ago, actually. But we didn't come to tell you that. There's actually something we wanted to ask you. Okay. Me? Fight as a part of the Courageous crew? Um, I'm glad you took the time to come in, out and find me, but I can't imagine I'd prove all that useful to you. I may be a military academy student, but I'm not exactly a natural brawler, especially compared to you, Laura. You don't have to take up a sword to come and fight with us, though. Reen's right. Even in the military, not every soldier stands on the front lines with a gun in hand. Success comes from all kinds of people and making the most of their talents to strengthen the group as a whole. And speaking personally, having you with us would really put me at ease, allowing me to fight my very best. Well... I have picked up some skills helping out with the cooking and some other basic tasks here at the camp. I don't know how much that knowledge will really help you, but I'll do all I can to lend a hand with the help with whatever need doing on board. I look forward to having you on our side, Monica. <laughs> Glad to have you along. And Monica is the first student we get on the Courageous. Very, very nice. Alright, there was another student that we can talk to. We just need to find him. It was somewhere around here. No, it's not you, monk. We'll, we'll get to you soon, though. Let me think... Somewhere around the center of the camp, so... Oh, here it is. Hi, Rex. Rex, this is the last place I thought I'd find you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I've been following the Imperial Army around and getting up-close photos of the war. But I hear the stuff you guys have been getting up to is even crazier. Oh, you heard? Sounds like you'll be putting in a lot of legwork. Anyway, given what, that we just so happen to run into each other and you know what we're doing, want to join the Courageous? Me? On the Courageous? Seriously? We could always use more people. The more the merrier. You really know how to tempt a guy. But nah, I'll pass. Maybe another day. Wait, what? Nah? What do you mean, nah? Look, I've put a lot of thought into what I can do to help this country when it's slowly sinking into hell like this. Then I realized I'm a cameraman. With all the media control, I'm one of the few people who can capture the truth of this war. 
and I can do it that way I can do it <clears throat> sorry and I can do that way better on the battlefield next to the army and the RMP that I could on the courageous sorry I see you've clearly given your choice a lot of consideration I respect that <laughs> Hard to believe the same person in front of me is the same boy who only ever tried to snap picture of girls back at Thoris. Cool. We done here? Good luck with your stuff though. It's been neat to follow. I'll be doing my thing down on the ground. Alright then. Just don't get too gutsy out there on the battlefield. Well, that's uh... too bad. Okay, next up we need to talk to you. All for the oh, the tomato burger recipe. Uh this was a pretty good one. Let me let me see. Oh yes, it's it's an item that restores CP, so we're going to make be making a lot of these. It's going to be using acerbic tomatoes though. Ah, well, all for the sake of craft point items. Now, let's see. I th well, since we're here, I guess we can go and talk to General Craig to start the side quest from this area. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, hello there. Did you come regarding my request? Yes, sir. You want to help? You want us to help you find a missing civilian, right? Although it looks as though you're busy with the meeting, should we come back at a, li a little later? Please don't hold back on our account. We're suddenly busy, but that's all the more reason to get this taken care of. He's right. It was because we don't have the time to handle it ourselves that we called you to begin with. What's more? Wasn't it your platoon who took that civilian in to begin with, Gaul? Yes, sir. My men are in charge of patrolling the area and taking any civilians found wandering into it into our safe custody. The one we called you out here about was found wandering the highway a few days ago. After that, he remained in the base camp without causing trouble until this morning when he simply disappeared. We haven't the faintest clue where he is. As I said earlier, we don't have the time to look for him, but even so, we can't very well sit back and twiddle our thumbs. That's why we chose to call on you. I see, that sounds like the perfect job for us. <clears throat> yep, fits us to a T. My thoughts exactly. As such, I'd like to entrust the task to you if you're willing, so how about it? Of course we'll accept. S rank doesn't get itself. I don't think it's something. this is something we could ignore in good conscience, so we'd be happy to accept. Excellent. I'll leave finding him to you then. It's possible that someone here in the camp may have seen him leave. Perhaps asking around may be a good place to start. Well, duh. We'll do just that. Other than that, I'll leave it to you to decide how best to approach this. But if the provincial army decides to attack, we draw to safety immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, now that we are done... Uh, <clears throat> talking to General Craig, let's... Let's go and talk to... Let's see... I need to take my notes for this one because I... Very... I remember very little about this. Alright, so, we need to talk to NPCs with green exclamation marks. So this guy, I think he might be a spy, and he saw him in the corner of the camp muttering to himself in the morning. Probably looking for someone. Hmm. Not much information to go on.
look kind of pitiable. You saw him last time. <clears throat> Sorry, I was kind of yawning over there. He saw him this morning during breakfast. Haven't seen him since. All right. Okay, there was one more in the rest area. Seems a sad man. Doesn't know where he might be. All this information sounds rather familiar somehow. Oh, that was a tough job. Oh, you're those students, aren't you? I wasn't expecting to find you here. Hello, sir. Would you mind if you took a bit of your time to ask a question? Oh, he's missing, is he? I did actually see him roughly an hour ago. Really? Where did you see him? He was heading in the direction of the fortress. I couldn't tell you more than that, though. What would, what would he be doing there? Indeed, I can't imagine what business a civilian would have in the ruins of a fortress. It seems our destination is set. Yeah, let's go after him. Thank you for the information, sir. Oh, it was nothing. Best of luck finding him. Well, let's go and find him then. This is all that's left of Garelia Fortress? It's a shocking sight. It really is. It's not as though we had any real personal attachment to this fortress, but to see this happen to it. Still, there's no time to be feeling overwhelmed by the scenery. We need to focus on finding that missing civilian. How about we start by comb combing this area? Hopefully we'll find him soon. like some kind of distortion in this area. Maybe it's just my imagination? Oh... It may be bad. Okay, before moving onward, there are a few chests here. A treasure here. chest is absolutely mm. beautiful! One containing the adamantine shield art. One of the best arts in the game. Basically, this cast uh, a spell in a medium area, I think, around the party member you select, which will nullify a physical strike. Then there was another... Uh, let me double check. This area is pretty big and I don't have anyone with detection on. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, so there's... Um... Okay, we skipped it. Also, I saw there was um, a trial chest. 407 mass, not bad. 407 mass right now, it's uh, the equivalent of two new weapons at the shop. And I haven't really bought anything in between episodes, even though I said I would, but... What can I do? Oh, wait, no. Soldiers. Hmm? Oh, you're those Thor students. What are you doing here? We could, you, we could come under attack at any time. I suggest you hurry back to base camp where it's safe. Actually, we're looking for someone. A missing civilian? Uh, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. 
We just came back from patrolling the by road. Didn't see anyone there at the very least. Sounds like he must be somewhere in this fortress then. Let's keep up the search. Thank you both for your assistance. And like I said, there is a trial chest in here. For Fee and Sarah. Uh, the level is pretty good. Hmm. You know what? It's a, it's a nice thing that I can adjust my party at any given time. Although, there is um, one problem, I think. But I won't be outfitting Sarah for this one. Her base kit will be more than enough. Uh, let me just do a little something here. There we go. Also, uh, this is gonna be what my formation will mostly be looking like later on, but we'll see. Let's do this! <sighs> Let's get this over with. My turn. Alright, so we got Dirty Rats, which are very weak for this part of the game, and the boss, which is a huge rat. So, let me see my notes for this fight. Okay, so the huge rat can inflict faint on you. And it can also cause AT delay, so it's kind of annoying. It's very weak to fire, but I don't think I have some fire arts on Sarah. So here's what we're gonna do. First, I'm just gonna use a battle scope to analyze the huge rat. Leave it to me. Then I'm gonna cast a judgment bolt on you. Did, did he seriously hit Fee? A dodge tank? Next. Let's use some Plasma Storm, shall we? Should have been paying attention. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. I thought you were supposed to be a dodge Good. tank. Thanks. Oh well, never mind, I guess. Should have been paying attention. My turn. Does that attack bypass Reen's huh? dodge chance? Thanks. I'm getting curious here. Too slow. Oh, thank you. Leave it to me. I'll handle it. Fine. If this is the game we really want to be playing... Here I go. But... Try hitting me now. Huh? Too slow. Right now, Fee's dodge it. is well above 100%. Really? Good luck. Me. Here goes. If you decided slow. to attack Sarah, it would be a hell of a lot I'll different, but... He won't. Too slow. I don't know why, but V draws a lot of aggro. Got it. You're mine. Leave it to me. Activate. 
Okay. I'll finish this in style. Here I go! I'll admit I got a little unlucky with those uh, hits, but we managed to pull it off anyway. That's what's important, right? Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. We've got a decent chunk of experience. We've got the Speed Breaker 2 Rare Quartz. Not bad. And now Fia and Sarah can overdrive. Good, good. Very good. Okay, um, now that that's out of the way, there should be a th fourth chest on the map. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's ride. There's another chest over here. Oh, look! There's a treasure chest! Containing a pretty good quartz. The Crystal Flood. Crystal Flood is... Um, what is it? Uh, the third tier... No, this is actually the fourth tier water art. The third one being... Uh, what was it? A Hydro Cannon. So yeah, Crystal Flood is Hydro Cannon, but on very high steroids. Double S power... Line, large line, 30% chance to cause freeze compared to the medium line and S power of Hydro Cannon. And I was gonna get this, and Alisa, you're gonna get Hydro Cannon. Let's ride. Next, let's go and talk to that civilian. There you are. I can't find him anywhere. I even came all this way to this scary looking place to find him. Yeah, you look awfully familiar. Riki, where are you? Of course, I'm not screaming because I have people in the other room. <laughs> if you're there, say something. Could this be... Yeah, I think this is our guy. Wait, he actually looks kind of familiar. Huh? Who are you? Wait, I know you. You're those students who helped me out a few months back. Oh, come on, don't tell me you've forgotten me. You came to my aid when I was lost... All lost by Oryx Fort. Oh, that's where I saw you. Chapter 2. Of the first game. I remember now. That was back during our field study at Bereahard. Your name's Anton, right? From Liberal? Oh, he was the one we escorted back to the city. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about that. We saw him in a few other places too. Guess he hasn't been home to Liberal since. We should probably ask him what he's been doing here. So you came here looking for a friend you were separated from just before the war broke out? Yeah, Ricky went to Heimdall all on his own. And right after that he got occupied by the Alliance. I've been all over the place looking for him, even to Heimdall station, but I can't find him every anywhere. I'm so sorry, Ricky. If only he had gone with you. I see. That is quite worrying. Yeah. I know as well as anyone what it feels like to not know where your loved ones are. Elise. It's really scary seeing what's going on over in Crossbell. The last girl to, to win my heart is still there too. Oh friend, please be okay. You may have turned me down, but I'll still never forget your beautiful smile. 
Well, regardless. Now we know what you're doing here. I still don't think you should be coming to places this dangerous without some type of permission, though. This area could become a battleground at moment's notice. We should get you back to base camp. Uh, I suppose you're right. I can't say I like this place very much anyway. And it's not like I'm gonna find Ricky here, so I don't mind coming with you. We'd appreciate that. Okay, we've done our part. Let's tell the Lieutenant General we'll find him. What the? What? Anton is resting in the mess hall at the moment. He's been warned not to cause any more trouble, so he should hopefully behave from now on. I see, you have all done a fine job. Agreed, I couldn't be more pleased with the results. And it sounds as though you didn't find him a moment too soon. What do you mean? We received a report from an, of an unidentified large monster appearing not long ago. Unidentifiable large monster? Wait, that sounds like... Inside Guerrilla Fortress, no less. Identifiable? Is it some new species? It must all have only just appeared too, because we didn't see anything like that when we were there. Correct on both counts. In truth, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've been receiving reports of strange monsters appearing out of nowhere in various locations for several days now. Could they be cryptids? That's likely due to the chaos in Erebonia becoming all the greater. And if that's the cause, it's very possible the same thing is happening all over the country. That doesn't sound good. We, will, we would like to take care of the problem ourselves, but unfortunately we simply don't have the spare manpower. It pains me to leave them be, but we've no choice until the war situation has settled down to some degree. This is just one more reason Erebonia has to become an increasingly dangerous land. I suggest you remain vigilant if you intend to continue your travels. We'll be sure to do so, sir. Good. In lighter news, please take this as a thanks for helping today. We we'll get the Panzer Goggles. What, you, what you've done was only possible because you chose to remain neutral. We'll be counting on you if anything else should come up. We will be happy to help however we can, just let us know. And that's one side quest dealt with. Uh, the reward we got, the Panzer Goggles, uh, where are they? Uh, here we are. Prevent blindness, so it's a white glasses with extra buffs. 50% hit and 10% extra uh, critical chance. Not bad. It's a slightly watered down version of the item Claire gives us, trading 50 hit for a blind protection. So, about that cryptid. I'll show it to you, but I'll also give you a bit of a warning. Now, as you can see, yeah, that warning sign is very well deserved. Like I was mentioning, cryptids will appear throughout the game. Remember when I said that in order to get one of the three medals you need to defeat five specific monsters? I was referring to these cryptids right here. There are five in total and they're optional bosses so you don't really have to fight them, but we will do it at a later time. We could technically attempt right. to fight this one as it should be somewhere around level 80, but let's just say that um, in order to defeat this guy we should wait to be at least level 81 with Usus so that he will learn a specific craft that will make this guy easier. 
the general rule of thumb about cryptids is that if you're level 75 or higher, you have a chance of attempting them stat-wise, but it would be way better if you wait at least around level 100 before attempting. Defeating them will give you a very powerful quartz with a very powerful art in it, but we're going to be talking about them later. Alright then, next I wanna go to... Um, Let's ride! To Gorelia by road. Because there is some stuff we need to take care of the, over there. Alright, let me see. Okay, so let's head to Gorelia by road 1. Luckily, the bike and turbo mode will make this much easier and faster. Also, if you forgot to analyze some enemies, take this opportunity to do so. Because after a certain point in Act 2, we will be restricted in what we can do. Oh, I see green exclamation marks. Let's head towards them. Oh, I skip. Oh hey, second years, I think. Oh, now here's some familiar faces. Alisa, is it really you? Emily, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm glad we finally found you two. Long time no see, Reen. What are you guys doing here? Well... <coughs> uh, uh, sorry, um checking a few things you guys certainly been busy you're behind that ash colored knight everyone keeps talking about <laughs> figures class 7 always been pulling off crazy stuff like that thingy <laughs> we're not that bad you've been setting up those transmission relay devices right yeah we've been using them to gather intel I have to say though, getting by with the bare minimum of ingredients while doing it has been a struggle. So he says, but we're having fine dining pretty much every day thanks to his amazing cooking skills. I'm practically eating better than when I was cooking my for myself at Thor's. <laughs> you flatter me. Alright, we met Theresia back in Berea hard. She was really worried about you. So she managed to get home safely then. <sighs> I'll have to pay her a visit soon. How about it? Wanna come aboard? As much as I'd love to give you an instant yes, I can't. I'm sorry. We still got some business to take care of first. Isn't anything difficult? Well, you kinda caught us while we were getting ready to set up some relay devices around here. This is the last place on our list actually, so we shouldn't be long. Would you mind waiting until we're done? Oh, I see. Mm, helping him out with this might make life easier for all of us. Let's help them out. We might as well help out since we're already here, right? Not to mention, things will go much quicker if we divide up the work. Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks, that'll be honestly a huge help. Here you go, Reen. He this is your batch. We've got six relay devices. Oh, they're much smaller than I thought they'd be. Well, yeah, they're designed to be attached to orbit lights. We have George to thank for these handy little guys. His handiwork is as impressive as ever. That makes sense. This, this way the lights can serve as each device's power source. It'll be pretty hard to find too. Nice. <laughs> George is always kicking it, knocking it out of the park. We'll leave it to you... Well, well, sorry. We'll leave you in charge of setting them up on the lights on, around this area. Try to set them roughly equal distance apart. We'll set our batch up the road that runs parallel to the transcontinental railroad. They'll meet, <clears throat> then we'll meet you back here once we're done. Sound okay? Understood. Let's go get to it then. So as you can see, we need to go in uh, different places. 
One, two, three in here, and three more on Guerrilla by Road 2. Let's get going! So, let, like we said, let's get going. I'll be dealing with uh, Guerrilla by Road 2, however. Starting from Guerrilla Fortress all the way down to. Ah! We'll have to fight our way let's through! Ha! My turn. <laughs> I can do this. Fire! Now's our chance! I'll back you up! Nice shooting! Uh, sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Where do we start? Here's the first one. Let's get going! Why do you have to remove the bike every time, Reen? Come on! Ugh. Wherever I guess. Two down. Let's ride. Three down. Let's get going. Okay, here's one more. Let's ride. If you just follow the road, you really can't miss them. And I was about to miss one. Just as I was saying it. Enemy sighted! Uh. Hey. Here I go! Ha. Now! You're done! My turn. <laughs> of course! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hostiles neutralized. Uh, I pressed X, and that triggered the fight because an enemy was in Let's range. Let's get going. Oh well. I'm going down the right way, right? Yeah. There you go. That's the last one. So let's get, let's, going. Let's get back to where they were. So I take this sharp turn. And it's the first one on the left. Yep. I did remember correctly. Hey, welcome back. I guess if you're here, we're all done. Yeah, did you run into any trouble? Fortunately, no. We got all six set up without a hitch. Changing orbit lines is a pretty common job for a bracer. I could probably do it in my sleep. I'm not sure if we've set them up in the right spots or not, though. No need to worry about that, actually. We've already run a transmission test and everything checked out. We're good to go. Thank goodness. Good job, team. Does that mean you're ready to board the Courageous, then? Yeah, count us in. Things will be a cinch now that you've got the Blazing Maiden on board. I'll be sure to put all my weight so you can get around picking- Ugh. Get around to picking up Theresia and Ferris, too. Thank you, Emily. I can't deny that making foot on the Courageous has made me pretty excited. I'll make sure that everyone on board gets the best meals I can provide. Thanks for joining us, Emily, Nicholas. And that's two more students down. And, actually, this is all the students that we can get from the Guerrilla Fortress area, so let's go back on the Courageous. Alright then, uh, first off, I'll take this chance to report the, the first quest that we've done. Right, we're supposed to be able to report our completed tasks in bulk using this. <laughs> Good thing we learned how to use an orbital computer in class. Hmm? What was that? Oh, looks like you picked the perfect time to report. Go ahead and press the answer button below the screen. Oh, sure. Green baby, talk to me. It's all right. You can admit you just wanted to hear my voice. <laughs> Prince Oliver? How are you... Uh, I thought you went to Western Erebonia. Oh, I did. 
I can't tell you exactly where I am now, but I've been on quite the journey since we parted. I'm transmitting this audio-visual signal from my current location. Really? Wow, I had no idea that it was possible to do that from so far away. <laughs> well, the standard system needs to be modified a bit for it to work. Anyway, let's get right down to checking that report of yours. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, good. Marvelous! You've ranked up! This is just a little something from me. Ooh, the true gl gladiator belt. I was waiting for this one. Well, well, that's very impressive. Anyway, keep sending in these reports whenever you're able. As long as you've got something to fill me in on, you can call whenever you like. Of course. Sorry for troubling you with this when you're clearly busy with matters over in the West, though. Well, I did give you that responsibility in the first place, and there's no length I wouldn't go to for my beloved students. Still, even though that workaround lets me talk to you basically any time, I can't keep the connection up for too long. But, your highness... Olivier, we need to get moving! We're heading to Parm for now! Be right there, my love. Well, at any rate, it seems I must bid you adieu for now. Duty calls. May Adios be with you. And good luck out there. Oh. Things must be pretty difficult over there right now. Still, if he's going out of his way just to talk to you, it means he wants to, so don't feel guilty. You're the best way he can get the inside scoop on what's happening here too, so everyone wins. True enough. That's a good way of looking at it. We'll need to make sure we never let him down. During Act 2, you can report a completed quest via the Orbital Computer on the Courageous Bridge. In exchange, you will receive a rewards and AP. Your rank will increase as points accumulated over time, so coming back and reporting your task frequently is ideal. And that's the reason why I did it right now, to be honest. Now we can exchange the Gladiator Belt with the true version. Granting it two extra craft points recovered and an extra buff because why the heck not? Also, at least for the time being, I'm gonna give her the black, give Fee the black virtue. She's gonna be my cancel bot. Anyway, with that out of the way, my next destination is gonna be Legram. Where do you want to go? Uh, down here, thank you. Leave it to me! Alright, first things first, I want to go to the shop because there are new uh, books that we can buy. Uh, Imperial Chronicle Issue 4 and Gambler Jack Chapter 8. Uh, that'll that'll do for now Next up remember that Vivi was in the church here in the Legram if you have fee in your party, which I do You can have her join the courageous wait uh, She used to be around here anyway Aha here you go. Oh You're back Hey again, Vivi no updates on Linda's whereabouts since we saw you last, huh? Not yet, at least. I've prayed for her to be okay more times than I can count. I even started watering the plants here for extra Adios brownie points. And they're still not doing very well. Ah, I'm useless. Both as a gardening club member and as a human being. But I guess it's always been like this. I'm only ever able to do anything because I've got Linde, and now that I don't... This isn't you. Fee? You're the kind of person who loves causing trouble and pulling pranks on everyone. Like Adele, me, Linde, even Rain sometimes. You skip classes even... and even your garden your club meetings, pretend to be Linde to embarrass her and even and anyone who gets involved. But in the end, you always leave everyone with a smile on their face. Works with the flowers too, 
They always look so happy whenever you take care of them. So sitting here alone, praying for someone to solve your problems for you, isn't you. Nobody will be able to stop the Vivi I know from running out to finding Linda for herself. Fee's right. And it, as it so happens, we're flying the Courageous all over Erebonia now. I can't guarantee you'll find her, but if you come with us, there's a chance you'll hear something about where she might be. So what do you say? Are you willing to lend us a hand? You guys... Of course I will. I don't know what's gotten into me lately. But if anyone should go out there and hunt her down, it's gotta be me. Sister needs to look out for each other, right? Bingo. Welcome to the team, Vivi. <laughs> Thanks. You're awfully lucky. It's not every day Erebonia's loveliest lady joins a ragtag band of adventurers like you. Uh, that's the Vivi I remembered. And that's another student down. Okay. Next up. Uh, wait. Next, we can go and recruit Casper from the RC training hall. But in order to convince him, be sure to go to the general shop and buy the Imperial Chronicle issue 4. Otherwise, you won't be able to convince him. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> nice to see you managed to find all of your class 7 buddies in the end, Reen. Thanks. I'm pretty happy about that, too. How things been on your hand? Still doing alright? So far so good. I like to think I'm making myself useful here in the training hall doing whatever I can. Not that it's that much though. I'm basically just taking care of weapon maintenance and more important and more Im importing more when necessary. Sounds useful to me. With all trouble that befall in this town, I'm sure they appreciate all the help they can get. Speaking of helping out, actually. Me? On the Courageous? Well, I'd love to help, especially if Monica's already on board, but... Hey, quick question. Could you use the Courageous to fly over to the west? I mean, theoretically, sure. We could use it to fly anywhere. That's not part of the area we're responsible for, though. We're here t we were told to focus all of our efforts to the east side of the Erebonia. Honestly, the west is a little too dangerous for us to visit either way. Even if we could go, there's a very real risk we caught up in some we get caught up in something and shot down. Not my idea of a good time. Yeah, that makes sense. I just figured I might be able to go and see how my family was doing over there, that's all. I forgot that you came here from a town near the shore over there. I can hardly blame you for being worried. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm sorry, but I'm staying here in the ground for now. I'm hoping I'll get the chance to head over there and check on them myself. Alright, that makes sense. I wonder if we can find out for ourselves whether they're safe or not. I haven't read the la latest Imperial Chronicle yet. It seems like a long shot, but maybe there's something in there. It's worth a look at least. So once you've done this, go to the event. As long as you have it. Talk to him again. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something in here that can tell us how Casper's family is doing. Right here, this part. Hmm? What brings you back here? Casper, hear me out. I know you're worried about things back home, but I think chances are that your family is just fine. Seriously? What makes you think that? Check out the six and seven pages. The Chronicle? I haven't read one of these in a while. I've been too busy worrying too, actually. So, pages 6 and 7, huh? Conflict near the Twin Dragon Bridge. A person just about it. Coast of the Mare Province, but as a result, the rebels are retreating. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. No way, it's actually talking about the coast. And this. That's where you're from, right? 
It says while the battle started near the coast, most of it took place farther inland. That's kept the civilian casualties to a minimum. You would take this to be the truth. I'd say your hometown and your family are probably just fine, wouldn't you? Sounds like that area has dodged a bullet. There's always going to be a little bit of doubt until you see them again, but it should be safe to assume they're okay. Good. Going simply off the evidence we've collected, I think it's likely that your family is safe. Oh man, thank goodness. I can't thank you guys enough for bringing this to me. I've been worried sick about everyone for so long that that's a massive weight off my shoulders. I can see your relief in your face. But at least now I don't feel quite as much of a need to get over to the west to check up on everyone. So, you got me. I'll join you guys on the Courageous and help out wherever I can. Welcome aboard. Let's fight for our families together. You bet. And that's another mandatory student down. Okay, uh, next up, there is a side quest that we can start at the end, but before that, there is a small event that we can do on the Bracer Guild. Hey there, Miles. You're looking sharp. Why, hello, Sarah. I was really... I truly was blown away by how well you fought those enforcers near Bereahard. Your skills as a bracer are as fantastic as ever, I see. Don't give me that knowing smile like you were right there. Also, former bracer, thank you very much. So you'll know all about what we've been up to since we left? Uh, but of course, you're traveling around in the courageous gathering information at the moment, I believe. As a member of the guild, I'll be happy to do what I can to help, so don't you hesitate to call on me. Thanks. Well, see as we was kind enough to offer, anything you want to ask, Green? My guess... Have you heard anything interesting lately? Interesting? Well, how about this? I'm sure as you can imagine, the Noble Alliance have wrested control of all the country's major towns and cities. But lately, there have been a number of people who started forming small resistance groups and opposing them. Resistance groups? Don't you mean... You don't mean... Supposedly, they've been standing up to the army's tyranny and supporting those who've been oppressed. And while this is just my instincts talking, I can't help but wonder whether they might be the people you know. They definitely could be. You wouldn't happen to know where any of these people were, would you? Well, considering they've gone this long without getting being caught, I'd say they're moving from place to place. Your best chance of running into them might be to explore relatively quiet highways. That makes sense. Thank you, Miles. Let's file that nugget away in the back of my minds. Well, that was interesting news. And that's a hint on finding some second-year students, like Nicholas, for example. He wasn't one of the mandatory students we needed to get to progress with the story. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna sell all the second masses. And rest at the end twice to get all the craft points. Especially fees. Okay, so now let's talk to this kid, Cargo. <laughs> Patty You're Cargo, right? Machias's uh, friend? I know you put a request in a request for help, but what are you doing all the way out here in Legram? Did something happen? What do you think happened? A bunch of noble soldiers came busting into the Oz district. And that got us real salty, so we gave him some of the old babang kapow. But then they got mad at us and turned the tables. They wouldn't give up either, but then Pattery... Pattery... Damn it. If I parse that correctly, sounds like he really needs our help with something. Guess Pattery's in trouble? 
That's about all I got, too. We should try to get to him to calm down a little so he can explain things before it's too late. Maybe bringing Marcus with us. Oh, right. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Those damn soldiers getting all big with their boots, thinking they're so tough. They deserve the kapow we gave them. I didn't think they'd be so stubborn, though. Or that Pattery. Pattery would. Ah, damn it! Well, he's still crying. I guess we won't be able to get anything at else out of him while it's like this. Allow me to translate. The patrolling soldier's arrogance irritated him and particularly greatly. In response, they try setting traps for them using boxes and drum cans in an effort to drive them away. Naturally, this, this, nothing, this did not go according to plan, as anyone with a half a brain would expect. So for the next part, I'd like to point out that you just need to go to Ymir to finish the side quest. It's not complex at all. I still have to figure out what the footage glitched out though. Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, let's continue. So let's finish the side quest immediately. Come on, spit it out. Where do you hide cargo? I know you did it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Wait, who's Cargo? Is that Pattery? Uh, well, I'm glad I found her, but I can't believe she actually ended up here. It looks like Marcus' theory about the map was correct. Yeah, it might be a good idea to let him know before we try talking to her. She really was here. Hey, Pattery! Could you please stop causing problems for strangers? M Marcus? The hell are you doing here, huh? Uh, it's not like I actually care, but it's nice to see your stupid face. Oh boy, she's way more of a Sundere than Alisa. I suppose. She's acting a bit odd. Oh well. I'm glad to see you're well too. But seriously, what were you thinking trying to pick up a fight with the army? We had, we heard all about what happened. No good can come from worrying people so much, you know. What? Look who's talking. Pardon? You got no idea how worried Ost was when he, we heard you were wanted by the army. For all we freaking knew, you were dead in a guard somewhere. And then Alcon Carr ended up getting arrested on top of it all. What do you think we started picking fights in the first place? We were scared. We were pissed off. We were... We were... <laughs> Whatever. It was better for us to do it than letting some amateur try their luck. So that's what really happened. Sorry, I had no idea that was the cause. The case. I'm sorry for rewarding you all so much. You should be saying that to everyone back home, not me. Anyway, that idiot Cargo said he was gonna meet me here ages ago, but he still hasn't shown up. So you're gonna help me look for him. Oh right, I almost forgot. Oops, completely slipped in my mind. So she intended for them to meet here, huh? Oh well, no way to know who was in the wrong now. What, you guys know something? You better have not have tied him up somewhere, cause if you do... When you s what say we bring him here before she accuses of anything else? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So we went back and forth from Legram to Ymir again with cargo. Parry! Cargo! Ah! The hell have you been all this time? I was freaking out like crazy, you damn big squeak! Oh, I knew I saw this scene somewhere. It was from Madagascar. You know, the DreamWorks movie. Where the heck was I? Where the heck were you? Ultra headlock time. Ah! Just who are these people? Well, they're, um, refugees from Heimdall. I really am sorry for all the trouble she's caused. I know this is a lot to ask, but would it be possible for them to stay in Ymir until the situation improves there? 
Well, sure, they're not how I pictured people from Hylder to be, but sure. Oh, check it out. There's really a warm looking pool pond over there. Watch it, loser. That's clearly a trap. Ain't no way anyone would put something that nice smack dab in the middle of town. It's a winter town. Wow, you're right. You're so smart, Pattery. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go have a quick war with them so they don't go cause any more trouble. Must be tough being you, Marcus. <laughs> I'd like to think we all had our fair share of challenges this time. Still, I suppose all's well that ends well. And we get the bunny watch as a reward, the second of the, mm, the three we need. Uh, next up, while we're at this, we can go to the general store and buy a couple of new things. The um, Gambler Jack Chapter 9, as well as a book to get the cracker recipe. There we go. And we get the crunchy rice cracker. Okay, one more and we should be okay. This is a, um, a dish that will buff our defenses, so... It's not too bad, I guess. Well, since we're here, there's a new uh, snowboard course added. So let's go and do just that. Now we have unlocked the B courses. Okay, let's do this. Sorry if I'm not talking much, but I'm trying to focus a little bit here. That went, that went pretty well. There we go. And for this we get the Silver Bell. The Silver Bell is somewhat useful, as most quartzes. It's a night it's a quartz that will increase Art Strike by 25 and will delay half the delay time after using a Mirage Art. That's how, what the bells do. They increase a stat and then usually Art Strike and then they cut in half the delay of a certain element art. Okay, uh, next up, you can go to Ymir Canyon to catch any fish you may have missed, but if you did like me and have 12 fish out of 24, you already have all of them unlocked. So, we can move on to the next area. I will see you when we get in Nord.
want to go? Leave it to me! Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is go to uh, Zendergate real quick. And we want to go to the northern end of the map. So, over here, I guess. And we need to talk to... No, it's n you're not here. We need to talk to a guy called Hoover. Uh, wait, northern side. Oh no, here you are. And he gives Gap Gambler Jack 2, Chapter 8. I th think we're set. Uh, we skipped Gambler Jack Chapter 7, but I think we'll find it later anyway. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we want to go towards the Stone Monument. Do you remember where we sat up with Balimar? Um, Let's ride. Uh, sorry, I was saying. Remember, right there. Remember where Balimar was uh, staying at when he he got us to Nord. We need to go over there to find another Thor student. So you managed to find me after all. <laughs> so this is where you've been. Right. It's dangerous for you to be here by yourself. Talk about pushing your luck. <laughs> oh, I was most certainly not on my own. Need I remind you that I have a guardian spirit watching over me? One powerful enough to scare off a monster that might approach me with ease. Celine, you're absolutely sure this girl is not a witch? There's not a doubt in my mind, which is why she puzzles me so much. Okay, moving on. Why don't you and uh, your guardian spirit join us aboard the Courageous? I can promise you it's much safer there. <laughs> Tempting as the offer, an offer as that is, I'm afraid I have to decline. At the moment, I'm trying to discern whether or not this war has disturbed the spirits lurking around the country. There's no need to worry about me. I'm more than safe wandering around, all alone, as you put it. If you say so, just do me a favor and try not to get in harm's way. And if you do get caught up in something, get in contact with us as soon as you can. Very well. If a dire fate befalls me, you shall be the first to know. I'll use my channeling powers to transmit all the necessary gory images into your head to make you aware of my situation. Or maybe just call my Arcus or something. You know, either way. And that updates her character profile. Now then. Uh, let's see... Alright, next we can go to the Watchtower via Fast Travel. And we can talk to Mint... Right here. Oh, hi guys! Hey Mint, glad to see you're still keeping well. What did you come 
Why did you... Well, sorry, I can't speak tonight. Why did you come all the way over here from Zendergate for, though? Oh, I came here to help fix them fix up stuff. The Noble Alliance wasn't very careful when he was using all the machinery here, so a lot of it has been acting up. I'm all done with that but now, though. You were able to fix up Imperial Army equipment? Just like that? <laughs> you really do take after Instructor Makarov. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> he was easy peasy. But uh, forget all that. What are you guys doing here? Well, actually... You're flying the courageous around? That's way cool! Sure, I'd love to come. Um, not right now, though. Huh? How come? Well, I went and lost something super important, you see. I'm supposed to be trying to find it as we speak, but there's no sign of it anywhere. But until I found it, there's no way I can leave. Something important? That's similarly concerning. What should we do, Rain? Uh... Yeah, let's help her search. Would you mind if we help you look, Mint? You would? Thank you! That'd be amazing! You must have an idea where you lost it, right? Any place we could start help? You lost it somewhere inside the building. It's awfully quiet. What happened to the other soldiers? Oh, I told him to stay out of the way so I can carry out my search, so they went all the way back to their rooms. They're probably still working though, so I wouldn't worry about it. Right, anyway, what exactly were you looking for? It's a wristwatch. Uncle Makarov gave me, gave me it when I enrolled at the academy. I've had it with me ever since, mending it my, on my own whenever it broke. It must have been, mean a whole lot to you, huh? Finding lost property is probably the most common job for Bracer, so this should be a cinch. We got, we've got quite a wide area to cover, but we'll just have to work our way through a little bit at a time. Could you focus on searching around here? We'll work our way upwards one floor at a time. Radio, thanks a bunch. Alright, so Mint will take care of um, the lower floor. We're gonna be taking care of all the uh, red exclamation dots around here. And uh, the thing is, if I recall correctly, it should be on the rooftop. But it won't pop up until you clear all the red exclamation marks. I'm not sure if that's the case, but just... Just to be safe, I'm going to be unlocking all of the red exclamation dots, just in case, like I said. Okay, there's gotta be another one or two. Funny how at least I didn't make a comment on Reen picking up a, a photo of a pinup girl. <laughs> okay, I think we gathered them all, so let's go to the rooftop. Oh, I guess not. Guess I did skip something. Let me go back and search. Yeah, I think I missed one. Because one of the two is actually mint. 
Basically, there's no point in checking that one out. Oh, I think I know where I forgot to look. Man, I'm a complete idiot. Well, explored everywhere in the building where it could possibly be, but no dice. Hmm, the only other place that I could think of is... I can only think of the rooftop where the jammer was. Can't hurt to take a look around there. Okay, let's go to the roof then. Oh, over here. Up the stairs. Oh, ring, don't get stuck. As you can see, controlling in turbo mode can be somewhat complicated at times. You get stuck much easier. There we go. Well, we come all the way up here. And I'm pretty sure if it was on the roof, we would have spotted it already. I suddenly haven't seen anything. I don't think something as flashy as a watch would be easy to miss, yeah. Hmm? Did anyone else see some sort of a glint? I saw it. Maybe it's the watch? How did it end up up over there? It has to be. I think it may very well be. I sure wasn't expecting to find it all the way up there. Now we just need to get it. Well, at least we found the thing. Okay. I can't believe you really found it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How the heck did it get attached to the antenna of all things? Oh, maybe it got caught while I was doing maintenance on it. Oopsie, silly me. How did he not realize that sooner? Well, at least we found it in the end. So, would you be willing to come with us on the Courageous now? You can count on me. And you don't and don't you worry, with me on the job, this will be over and everything will be right as pain in no time. Um, I think it should be right as rain. I hope the creation doesn't fall out of the sky. I'm suddenly feeling very nervous. Well, one thing we can easily not worry about is the fact that Mint is very, and I mean very good with machines, so there is no, no risk of that. And we found all of the mandatory first year students that Oliver ask us to find. Now that that's done, there um, there's one more thing we need to do. Two, actually. First, let's return to the courageous, and we. I'm gonna report this quest. Have you been keeping well? Do tell me all about what you've been up to. Well, well, that's very impressive. One point short of rank A6, goddammit. Adios, Reen. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ranks now. Okay, so next destination... Where do you want to go? Lake Lacrima. Leave it to me! Alright, so first things first, I want to go to the general shop. 
And here we can get the Gambler Jack reprint chapter 7. The one I was missing, remember? Okay, so here I can buy, uh, I can still buy the weapons for all of my party members. I'll still try not to. Like, as you can see, I've bought uh, weapons, only weapons for Reen and, um, Reen, Fee, Alisa, and Emma, but only for them. Next up, I need to find uh, Gaius' little sister, Shida. No, uh, this is Lily. Lily. Uh, Shida, where are you? Oh, here you are. And we get the hearty milk hot pot recipe. With this, we got the uh, recipes from Nord. Sorry for Act 2 1, I meant not from just Nord. My bad. Also, if my voice sounds a little coarse, is because I've gotten a little cold air and my throat is acting up a little bit. Anyway. Now this, um, do you remember there was one monster quest that we needed to take care of? Well, let's go to the Elder's Tent. No, they're not here, so they have to be on in Gwyn's cabin. My bad. And, uh, by either talking to the Elder... Or Gwyn, we should be able to start this quest. Welcome home, Gaius, and thank you for coming. Hello, Helder. It's good to be back again. You've been keeping up yourself mighty busy since you left, haven't you? We heard all about you flying around on the Courageous. You have? <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? The Courageous has been a huge help too, and it's all thanks to Prince Oliver that we finally have a means to make our ideals a, re a reality. He placed his hope for Erebonia's future in us, and we're going to do everything possible to ensure that hope isn't misplaced. Well, he couldn't have entrusted Erebonia's future in finer hands. Speaking of, there is something we'd like your help with. Is this about that large monster? Might I ask how Dad came to be absent at a time like this to begin with? Oh, I probably forgot about that part. Well, on one hand, this land is no longer plagued with war since the Noble Alliance has left. While on the other hand, the monsters here have grown restless. We haven't a clue why, but as a result, Lacan has been forced to go and patrol more often than before. I see. Makes sense to me. And as if a huge monster showing up while he's away wasn't bad enough, the monster in question is strange, to say the least. I couldn't say for sure, but it's possible it's another cryptid. And if that's the case, it may be a sign that things aren't here aren't yet back to normal after all. That does sound like something we can't ignore. Not after what we've everything here is done for us, yeah. And we can't pretend this was nothing this has nothing to do with us when the cause could very well be the chaos in Erebonia itself. We'd be more than happy to accept your request. Thank you very much. It was last sighted in northern part of the Highlands, right in front of the giant statue. Given how little we know about it, you should approach it with great caution. Of course. Alright, as soon as we're ready, let's move out. Alrighty then, let's go and take care of this monster. Oh, Reen, don't get stuck, please.
Okay, so, uh, let me readjust my party real quick. Sarah is nice and all, but... You know what? I think I'll bring Laura along. Eustace will serve as an item bot anyway, at least as far as I'm concerned, and he's not gonna be very useful in this fight. Having a powerful backup like uh, Laura will be way more useful in the long run. Let's get going! In front of the giant statue, huh? Well then, let's make a beeline for it. I don't see anything. Wait. This guy sound looks awfully familiar. Is that what I think it is? A magic knight. Uh, what is that thing? You know what it is, Reen? You could say that. It doesn't seem to be the same one that fought near you near. Yeah, because that one blow up. But that doesn't matter. No ordinary human would stand a chance against it. If you were to attack the settlement... And of course, it had to activate when we are near it. We're not going to let that happen. We can't allow it to get any closer to the settlement. Please, lend me your strength. Right! Watch out! This is a tough one! Okay. And in case you're wondering, yes. This is the same Orthime. In ter at least in terms of looks, stats... Well, not stats. Moves and whatnot. This time, however, having a full party should make it a little easier. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Too slow. V, how did you miss? Your turn. Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here I go. All right, let's start laying into it. No problem. Light. <laughs> Here I go. Let's try out Crystal Flood. Uh, my turn. One, two, and done. Now, I'll back you up. Here I go. I'll do this just because I don't want it to heal. Though, I could have easily avoided it. What's that? Could use overdrive instead of uh, doing something else that no, was completely don't. stupid. <laughs> Let's move. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Ha! No problem. You won't get delayed. She's annoying to Light. not gonna lie. Rain upon us. Okay. You up. My turn. Between Impede uh, 1 and the Black Virtue item, V can easily, and I mean insanely easily, cancel uh, any, any charge up art or attack with a single strike, since she has an overall 120% chance to break those. Rin will eventually be able to do that too. Oh. Oh. 
I guess uh, slow. this move was new. Got it. I'll back you up. Of course. Blessing of the moon. Thanks. It's a good thing that this works. Okay. One. And done. Got it. Let's get this over with. All right. Okay. okay. Might as well. Here I go. Okay, it's fully scouted. I can do this. Light. My turn. One. Got it. Yay for up. AT delay. Here I go. Here it goes. Overdrive! Now's our chance! Gotcha! Right! Right! Let's move! Now! Gotcha! Of course! Arc is activate! I'll handle it. Okay, things are working out pretty well. <laughs> At least for now. now. Here I go. I have an idea for later. Ha! Now. Gotcha. I'll handle it. One, ha! and done. Now, I'll back you up. Right. This is working like a charm, and I mean it. Right. Let's move. Ha! Here I go. Ha! Okay. One. Ha! And done. Now, I'll back you up. I could have used the burst. Now. My turn. Yeah. Right. What kind of range does this guy really have? Pip. I'll handle it. One, ha, and done. Got it. I'll back you up. Let's move. Let's try it out, speed of unification. With the uh, Azure Flame Slash. Uh, My turn. There should be a kill. Just in case. Here I go. No, there's no point. Might as well do this directly. Gather on my blade. Well, that was um, something. That's that. Let's keep moving. But I think it was pretty worth it. I'm so glad. It didn't blow up though. That was tough. This means the settlement is safe now at least. Thanks guys, really, I wouldn't have been able to defeat it alone. What a truly fearsome creature. Reen, do you have any insight on why these magic knights appeared both here and in Ymir? Could it be coincidence? I couldn't even hazard the guess. Still, I get the feeling their power is increasing over time. 
But don't take that seriously. It's just a gut feeling, so I could be wrong, but... Hmm? You may be right. Them appearing in two places one after another is like almost it makes it seems like they've awoken from a long slumber. And now they've started wandering around. I may be overthinking things though. I wonder if they have something to do with whatever is happening in the shadows of this war. I wish we could look into this more, but... It's getting back up and with the black aura? What the hell? That's impossible! We defeated it! Crap! If it attacks while our formation is like this, we're screwed! What? Oh! Fall back. Damn, son! D Dad? I'm glad I made it in time. Together with Lacan, Class 7 confirmed for certain that the Magic Knight had been slain before returning to the settlement. So that's what happened. It sounds as though that thing posed quite the challenge. Those Magic Knights you mentioned are tricky bastards. And while I'm curious as to what caused it to appear now of all times, for now I'm simply content to see you're all safe. Tell me about it. We owe that to Lacan. Indeed, if he hadn't come when he did, I don't even want to think about it. The spearmanship of Nord is truly impressive. <laughs> Lacan's the strongest spearman here in Nord. I've heard as much myself. I wonder who would come out on top in the battle between him and Lieutenant General Vander. <coughs> I think you're overselling my abilities. I'm still no match for our ancestor who fought alongside Emperor Dreykels. <laughs> in addition, I believe Wallace of the Noble Alliance has much of a higher degree of skill than I do as well. I don't know what if what it is he fights for, but regardless, I can't afford to be overconfident in my abilities in turn. That's true enough. After witnessing just how strong you are though, it's scary to think that there could someone out there who's even stronger. Both he and General Aurelius seem to be, have a terrifying amount of strength when compared to us. I can only hope we, he won't use our spearmanship to threaten Nord. But whether he does or not, I can't afford to remain complacent. Same here. Well, there's no point in worrying about things before they've happened. What you can do now is take things one step at a time. Yeah, that's exactly what we intend to do. We might be... We might have been forced to rely on your father at the end, but at least we were able to clean up things here. Indeed, you have my thanks. It's not much, but please accept these. <laughs> it's not much. Jeez, 8,000 Mira coming right up. If anything else should happen, we'll be sure to call upon you again. Please do, we'll always be happy to help. May the winds and the goddess guide your path. Okay, with that, I think we actually cleared all of the quests we were supposed to be doing. Huh? I wonder who's calling. I'm surprised we can even get a signal here. Yes, this is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, good. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get in contact with you. Oh, hey, Toa. That explains it. The signal must be pretty good from the Courageous. Listen, I've got good news and bad news. Oh, boy. First, 
the good. We've actually worked out the location of one of Class 7's relatives. Really? Yeah, but that's where the bad news comes in. Ah. <sighs> come on. Hit me. Anyway, can you come back to the Courageous as soon as you can? Please, it's important. All right, sure. We'll be back as soon as we can. Was that Toa? Yeah, she said she found one of our family members. Really? Oh, that's wonderful news. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Well, it's definitely good news, but she also said there was some sort of problem. Mm, I wonder what it could be. Sounds like we better hurry back to the Courageous. Well, we got the skull, which means that we can now progress with the story since we cleared out the mandatory quests, but we won't be doing that just yet. I'm going to end this episode right here, however, keep in mind that in the next one we're going to be doing some uh, extra, and I mean extra, uh, side quests that aren't really... Um, signed up but for now this is going to be the end of this video join me next time as we're going to tackle an, a special area right this has been Bahama Raven and I will see you very soon see you later everyone <laughs>